Back in 2017, I made a video that was called How to Spray Paint Your Wheels Like a Pro. And last month that video actually went viral. I think it's at about 1.6 million views right now. And uh, maybe that's how some of you guys found my channel recently. So uh, today I wanna show you what those wheels actually look like two years and about 20,000 miles later. Um, I saw a lot of skeptics in the comments saying that the paint wouldn't hold up and that it would just flake off or something. So I wanna show you guys what the wheels look like. I'm gonna answer some of the most common questions that I get on that video. Um, and then I'm also gonna give you some tips as to maybe some things that I might do differently if I were to do this project again today. So let's get right into it. So we've got the wheel out in the sun right now. I'm gonna get it cleaned up and then we'll take a closer look at it. So you might remember from the last video, these are actually the wheels off of my mom's car. So I don't really spend a lot of time, you know, this close to the wheels on a regular basis. This is really my first time seeing them up close since I painted them back in 2017. And honestly, I have to say, I'm really impressed at just how well that spray paint held up, you know, two years of being daily driven. And uh, yeah, I'm really impressed. The one thing that I will say though, is that if I'm being honest, they're not quite as glossy as I remember from the original video, but you could definitely take some uh, really light sandpaper to these, kind of smooth out the orange peel just a little bit, and then maybe do a couple new co coats of clear on top of this. And I think that these would look really great. Um, yeah, I'm really impressed so far. So even though that video is two years old, it still gets a ton of comments and questions. So I went through and I picked out the top five uh, most frequently asked questions, I'm gonna answer those for you right now. So the first one is, how many cans of paint did I use? And I'm surprised that I didn't mention this in the video, but uh, for all four wheels, I used two cans of the regular uh, Duplicolor wheel paint, and then one can of the Duplicolor wheel clear coat. The next question is, can you paint the wheels on the car or do you have to take them off like this? And uh, the best way to do this is to take the wheels off the car. That's the only way that you're gonna be able to hit like all these different angles. Um, a lot of times spray cans don't really like to work well if you try to use them upside down. So definitely take the wheels off your car if you're gonna do this. The other thing that you're gonna run into if you try to do it on the car is overspray. Uh, you're gonna have uh, spray paint trying to get on the body of the car. You're gonna have to mask off the brakes and all that stuff. So it's just so much easier to just take the wheels off the car. The next question that I see a lot is why didn't I use primer if the video is called how to spray paint wheels like a pro and a pro would have used primer. Uh, the reason that I didn't do it in this case is because when I sanded, um, I didn't sand the wheels down to bare metal. So there was already really good primer on there from the factory uh, on the wheels. So I personally, for this project, I didn't feel that it was necessary to reprime them. I just used the primer that was already on the wheel and then I just used my spray paint on top of that. One question that I see a lot on that video that I don't really understand is why I didn't mask off the valve stems, but if you look close in the video, I did mask them off. Uh, but these valve stems are actually silver to begin with, they're like metal valve stems. So I could see maybe if somebody just skipped to the end and saw the end result, they might have saw the silver and just thought that maybe I just painted the whole thing. But if you go back and watch the original video, they're definitely masked off. I actually had to go back and watch it myself just to make sure that I actually did it, but yeah. So the last question that I see quite a bit is why didn't I paint the inside of the wheel? So I did the front, but I didn't paint like the inner barrel. And it just comes down to your own uh, car, your own personal preference and how uh, in depth you wanna go with it. For my mom's car, you know, she's not really that much of a car person. You know, you're not gonna see her out on the driveway like scrubbing the inside of her wheels or anything like that. Uh, she basically just goes through the car wash once a week and that's pretty much uh, the extent of her uh, car detailing. So for this particular instance, I just didn't feel that it was super necessary to do the inside and especially with how small these wheels are when they're actually mounted on the car uh, you can't really see the inside of the wheel anyway so uh, yeah it just comes down to your own personal preference now if you are going to do this and you are going to do the inside of the wheels just double up on your paint supplies so instead of getting two cans of paint get four and instead of do getting one can of uh, clear get two cans of clear and you'll be good. So just a couple quick tips here, uh, some things that I might do different if I were to do this project again. In the original video, I painted the wheels in the grass, and the problem with doing that is that I was getting some uh, pollen and stuff was getting in the paint, some little bugs and stuff were crawling on the wheels while I was trying to paint them, which was really annoying. So if I were to do this again, I would just do them in the driveway and just put a, a big tarp down first so that you're not like getting the overspray on your cement. Uh, but yeah, that's what I would do. Do them in the driveway instead of on the grass. 
The next thing that I didn't mention in the video is you're going to want to let the paint dry overnight before you reinstall them or drive on them. I would say at least 24 hours to just really make sure that they're fully dry before you try driving on them. And then the last thing is that if you don't want to use the masking tape in the trash bag like I did in the video, you could also use index cards. You just put them in between the rim and the tire and you just put them around the whole perimeter and that's going to make sure that the paint doesn't get on the tire. Now the way that I did it in the video with the uh, masking tape, that's the most thorough way to do it. But um, if you don't have the tape in the bag and stuff and you just want to use some cards, you can definitely do that. All right, so just leave a comment down below if you have any other questions about this project. Um, I'll leave links again for all the products that I use as well as the link to the original video if you want to go back and rewatch that. So yeah, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you found this information helpful. So for all my longtime fans, my early subscribers, I know I've been neglecting this car a little bit here on the channel, but uh, we're going to give it some love right now and then we're going to go take some pictures.